officially what I'm going to call two days out from the Junior USA Nationals. I'm super excited about it and I just kind of wanted to tell you a little bit quickly about what I'm doing right now. As of right now, I'm preparing for my trip tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be flying out in the morning. Uh, my competition is actually Saturday, today's Wednesday, so what I'm going to be doing is prepping my food for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, at least for Saturday morning. Um, so what that means to me is I no longer get eggs and oatmeal starting tomorrow. I get chicken and sweet potatoes three times a day, and I get um, steak, and I get white rice for the last three meals. So six solid meals, and that's it. So that's replacing my eggs at night, my eggs in the morning, all that great stuff. And then um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a light total body workout. So nothing big, nothing super heavy or strong or anything like that. Um, you just want to get the blood flowing to your muscles. So I'll take you along with me tomorrow for that as well. That way you can kind of see because I know there's a lot of questions about what do I do. So I'll show you that tomorrow. Uh, for right now though, I went ahead and I prepped all my food. So like I said, I have my steak, which I think I have more than enough steak to be honest with you. So I might share some with my husband. We'll see if he he deserves it or not. Um, and then I just took out my chicken and my sweet potatoes from the oven. They're ready to go. And these are my favorite days. You know why? Because I don't have to eat vegetables. No more green vegetables. No more salads. I'm excited. Just give me carbs and protein. That is what I love. So I'm a happy, happy girl. So anyway, Thursday, Friday, I'll have that as my diet. Saturday, my diet will change again, and I just realized I don't have any ground beef. So I'm going to have to run to the store real quick here in a minute and go get some ground beef. Uh, because Saturday, what I'm going to be doing at least in the morning is ground beef and uh, rice. So, I have the rice. I don't have the ground beef. Um, anyway, so i got to do that still yet. Let me give you a tip though real fast. So one of my tips, if you're going to be traveling, take your food with you. A lot of people have questions about what can I take on a plane and what can't I. Basically, if it's a liquid, you cannot take it. That has not changed. So, but if you're prepping food, you can take all of your food on the plane. They're not going to stop you and say, excuse me, you cannot have that steak. Unless it smells really good and they want to confiscate it for their self or whatever. But you can take anything you want onto the plane. You're fine. I did not want to buy a six pack. However, if you are in prep or you're beginning your prep or you're going to keep prepping or you're going to make a lifetime future of prepping, whatever it is, invest in a six pack. They're very nice. Um, they're big. They're made for people in prep. They have lots of pockets for your waters and your supplements and anything and everything. They're great. I, however, have an amazing job where I have my own personal refrigerator, so I do not need it all the time. So what I chose to do is I went to Sam's and I just got a little $15 uh, insulated lunch sack. It's a pretty good size actually. What I liked about this one is it's really deep so I can put all of my food in there and then the main part that I really, really loved about it is it has a side pocket. In my side pocket, I have all of my goodies. So I have all my sugar-free gum in here, I have my sugar-free mints in here, and I have my crystal light. Uh, for my waters and stuff, which I probably will be using that a whole lot to be honest with you just because um, Really at this point in time you should just be drinking straight up water um, But just in case it's there $15 huge uh, Help for me while I'm traveling once I get to the hotel You know what's funny is the first thing you start doing when you're in prep and you're traveling at any point is you go, I need a refrigerator and a microwave in my room. If it doesn't have it, you just keep looking for another hotel. So, I made sure that my hotel will have a refrigerator and microwave in it, so I only need this for tomorrow for my travels to get my food there. Once I get there, I'm cool and set to go. So, invest in that, awesome. Love it, $15, Sam's Club. Uh, tips of what to pack. I am fixing to go into my room and I'm fixing to start packing. Here's what you're going to want to do. If you're getting there early, like uh, I am, if you're going to be traveling and staying there, um, things to bring is going to be a sheet, at least a flat sheet one. Here's why. You can use it like a sleeping bag. So you'll lay it down on the bed, you lay in, 
you roll it, the thing over on you, you're good to go. Why, Casey, would I do that? Okay, well, here's why. Because if you're gonna be getting your spray tan the night before and you lay down in the hotel sheets, you will wake up and there'll be the brown all over the bed and they're gonna be charging you for those sheets and nobody wants that. So save yourself some money and some hassle. Just bring your own old sheet or whatever. Like I said, a flat sheet works just fine. Um, if you can sleep naked, sleep naked. Um, you yeah, like sleep naked, right? Anyway, I don't know my mom. My mom's going with me. <laughs> I don't know that she'd want me sleeping naked, so I'll think about that one. Um, some of the other things to bring with you. After you go and you get your tan, for instance, when I go, I'm going to get my tan and I'm going to check in for the competition all in the same evening at the same hotel. So I'm going to get tanned there. So what you want to do is bring loose cotton clothing. So what I have is flip-flops because you don't want to put socks on and get the ugly sock line and rub your tan off. So you want flip-flops. You're going to want a big pair of saggy, like what I have is my big old ugly saggy sweatpants or like a double X, but they have a tie so I can make sure they stay here, but they're loose everywhere else. Um, then you're also going to want, I personally, again, I go with a zip up jacket, like a runner's jacket, but big. That way nothing sticks to you. Again, the reason for that is after you get your tan, you're going to be a little bit moist. Even if they tell you, oh, you're dry, you're really not dry. And if you put clothes on, the clothes are going to stick to you because you're still a little bit sticky at times and places. And if you would just barely start to sweat, it's going to take the tan off of you. So I wear the jacket that I can zip up. So as soon as I get done getting tanned, I don't put a bra or panties or anything back on. It's just the extra large uh, bottoms, the extra large jacket, and my flip-flops. And then when you go home, you have your sheets at the hotel for where you can lay in, and now you don't get a mess. Now, the next day when you go to check in to competition, again, most places you'll need to check with the rules and regulations, but it's best to be prepared. Just go ahead and wear the same thing that you wore uh, the night before to get your tan. Why? Because you're just going to get it dirty anyway, so you might as well just stay in it. Um, you'll want to do that. Most places will require you to have, that's where I was going with this, they'll require you to have long sleeves. The reason that they want the long sleeves is when you're sitting in the auditorium, they don't want you getting your arms and the tan rubbing off onto the, ch the chairs and stuff because that's not nice. Um, so though most of them require long sleeves. Again, the zip up's nice because you don't have to pull it up, mess up your hair, mess up tan, nothing like that. Um, when you go backstage, some of your necessities that you're really going to want, other than your, I already know, my swimsuit, my jewelry, my shoes, yeah, you're going to want all that, um, but some of the other things that you're going to want to take with you would be um, take some snacks or whatever it is that you need to eat because you're going to be there probably half a day, so you're going to want to prepare for at least half a day worth of food, and then I would say take a little bit extra because in case it goes a little bit longer, which does happen at times as well, you're already prepared for it, and that way you don't give in to um, eating the crap food that they have backstage for you or anything like that. Um, one of the other things that you're going to want is your cell phone charger. Why? Because again, if you're in bikini, you're probably going to be going on towards the end of the evening or towards the end of the morning. Uh, your last group usually to go on. So you're going to be there for a few hours. So since you're backstage, it's not going to take you that long to get ready. Um, it takes me maybe 30 minutes, guys. But I'm a different case, I guess. A lot of the girls back there, it takes them an hour just to do their hair. Um, I love my hair. My hair is easy. I just brush it. Phew, I'm ready to go. So um, you don't need that much time. So you'll be on your phone. You're going to want to talk to all your friends. Everybody's going to be checking in with you. Your phone's going to die and then what? Then you're going to be frustrated. So take your phone charger with you. Um, if you have a little tablet or something that you can watch movies on, take that with you as well. Um, or that you can play games on to kind of keep you entertained or even a book. If you're one of those that likes to read, take a book with you. Something to keep you entertained in the back. Um, you're also going to want to take your own mirror. If you're traveling, obviously, you, it'd be kind of hard to take a full-length mirror. But take a, a larger mirror with you so that way backstage you have your own area. You can just sit in the hallway, which is what I did. Just sit in the hallway. You have your own mirror there so that way you can get ready or whatever you need to do. You don't have to fight people um, because a lot of times the back dressing room areas just aren't big enough for everybody. Um, so you want to do that. 
The other thing I would suggest is bring either a, like a blanket or a pillow or something that you can sit down on and kind of get relaxed. There's not chairs a lot of times in the places. At the last competition I was at, there was like nothing. So you were literally sitting in the floor because they had like five chairs for like 500 people. It was ridiculous. So take a pillow that you can sit on and have some cushion, or you can lay down and take a nap, which is what I plan on doing. So when I go on stage, I'm bright eyed and bushy tailed. Um, but I think that's it, guys. Other than your necessities, you know of already your your jewelry, your makeup, your hair accessories. Um, if you have two swimsuits, I would suggest that you take both, even if it's just a posing suit. Yes, you, you're probably not going to need it, but it's better to have a backup in case something happens because there are times where you might go to put on the suit and one of your connectors breaks. Or you get on stage and you go to start posing and the judge says your swimsuit's too small. Especially if this is your first competition you've never worn that swimsuit, go ahead and have a backup just in case. Those are my tips of the day, people, from what I learned from last time and from uh, some other people that have passed knowledge around and stuff. I hope that makes it easier for y'all. I don't think I forgot anything. Um, Document yourself most of all. Have fun. Ooh, perfect timing because here comes my cat wanting my food. I don't know how she keeps getting up on my counter. That's ridiculous. But anyway, thanks for following along, guys, and I'll keep you with me tomorrow so we can go get our full body pump on. And I'm just going to finish uh, prepping my food. I've got to run to the store. I still got to go do cardio here. It's my last session of cardio as well. And then I will see you tomorrow before we travel to South Carolina. Thanks for following along, guys. I appreciate it. Bye.